Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana says at least 10 soldiers are killed and another 8 are wounded Wednesday in a friendly fire airstrike during operations to rid Marawi City of members of the Maute group. Lorenzana says bodies of the killed soldiers have been extracted and families have already been informed. He says, quote, It's sad, but sometimes that happens. Maybe the coordination was not properly done, so we hit our own people. Lorenzana adds an investigation headed by Armed Forces Chief Eduardo Año is underway. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, serving as martial law administrator, orders the arrest of more than 100 members of the terrorist Maute group for the crime of rebellion. Arrest Order No. 1 was issued Monday. This is the first arrest order issued pursuant to martial law in Mindanao, which means it is valid even without a court order. His arrest order also includes a provision specified in the 1987 Constitution that every person arrested must be judicially charged within three days, otherwise they shall be set free. Lorenzana says, quote, even if they committed the crime in Mindanao, they can be arrested even outside Mindanao. Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre says the arrest order is valid even outside of Mindanao because rebellion is a continuing offense. There is a legal doctrine which says that because rebellion is a continuing crime, warrantless arrests are allowed. This means that even though there is no martial law in Luzon and the Visayas, a warrantless arrest is still authorized if the crime is rebellion. The House of Representatives on Wednesday finds no reason to revoke President Rodrigo Duterte's martial law declaration in Mindanao. Lawmakers adopt House Resolution No. 1050 through Viva Voce voting or a vote of ayes and nays. The vote was expected because the president counts at least 267 out of the 292 House members as his allies. H.R. 1050 is drafted after lawmakers were briefed by several cabinet secretaries and other national security officials for five hours on the situation in Marawi City. Duterte declared martial law in Mindanao last week after clashes between government forces and the Maute terrorist group in Marawi City. Still on the martial law in Mindanao, Malacanang on Wednesday launches an information campaign via social media to justify the declaration of martial law. Its latest initiative, an animation that showed martial law as the shield that would protect a young man from violent extremists. The 37-second animation is eventually taken down later in the evening following online backlash. Martial law should be the rule of the land. Martial law. Now. A Malaysia Airlines flight is forced to return to Melbourne Airport Wednesday after a passenger tried to force his way into the cockpit, claiming he had a bomb. The passenger, who is identified as a Sri Lanka national, appears to have been drunk and is overpowered by the plane's crew and later arrested by airport security in Melbourne. The bomb turned out to be a power bank. Australian authorities say the suspect appeared to have a history of mental illness. The incident comes just months after the search for the missing flight MH370 was called off. MH370 disappeared in March 2014, while another passenger jet, MH17, was shot down in July of the same year while flying over Ukraine. 